All my life I've been faithful Hey guys, Willie James here from Dreamhouse Music. Uh, in this video, I want to go over uh, CC Wine and Goodness of God, more of a intermediate version uh, where we have some chord changes um, in between those basic chords. So I did a video of a beginner version with the basic chords, but this video I want to go over some um, chord progressions you could put in between those basic ones. So um if you want the beginner one just check back a few videos on my channel it's there um so uh oh remember to like share subscribe please um so that we could share the love now let's jump right in we're in a flat so know your a flat scale right one two three four five six seven one know your diatonic chords these are the foundation chords uh for learning these songs if you don't know these Check my uh, course in the description below. It's a quick start piano course uh, to get more info. Okay, so let's though um, let's just play through maybe some ideas, um, and then maybe I'll try to explain them section by section. So here we go. Da 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 Okay, something like that. Very simple. So that, um, let me try to remember what I did, right? So we're doing a basic sus2 chord, right? And then I do da da da, which is very similar to what we had before. Um, but we we do a little walk down, right? One six, sorry, one seven six, voice like that, and then you can go here. Okay, or a la da. See, I'm playing with the sus2, right, to get those kind of uh, colorful patterns on the one. And then I walk with the melody, da da da, right. All right, da da da, da da da, da, I love you, love. Da da da, da da da, da. So that, that line is so after the four, da da da, five, six, one, and then that's a setup to go into the the one chord, the A flat. And do a little slide from the B flat to the C. Right? Da 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 da. Right, so let's talk about that. This chord here. This is a passing chord to the six. Okay. So what chord is this? Well, it's really, it's um. Well, there's two ways to look at it. It's it could be a G diminished seventh, but voice like this. Right, here's the G diminished seventh, G B flat, uh, D flat E, but we're voicing like this. We're not gonna play this because this sounds muddy and awful. So. We voice it like this. Voicing is just a different arrangement of the notes, right? So here's the one, the three, uh, I would call this the five and the seven. Um, we're gonna do the one, the seven, repeat the one, and there's the three. So it's voiced like this. And it goes nicely into the sixth chord, which is F minor. But instead of just F, A flat, C, we're gonna do this, right? right. I love you, love. Da 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 uh, Right? Da 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 Right? 
I'm doing these different movements, right? Da 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 da. On the track, it's a four or five, but to that five, you could do six five to create that passing movement. And on the six, you could do something like this. Okay, what is this? This is just a six chord in second inversion root first second inversion drop the two which means drop the second highest note which is f down here so you get this open voicing like this and then you could go to the sixth chord which is also sorry six to the five chord uh, which is also in second inversion but we're dropping the two drop the e flat down here so the movement is six five like so Okay, let's put it all together. I love you, Lord. Da 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 da. Six five. Right, this is very simple. Or you could go that. Or you could do uh yeah. So now this six five, right? Six five. Um, you could do also one seven. It's just uh, an inversion of this, right? If we, what's the easiest way to explain it? Well, let's do the full chord. If we invert it, it would be this. Okay. So inversion means bring the bottom note on top. Okay. So. Here's the chord inversion is this. If you do the drop two, then it's this. Okay. And then the five inverted is this. Because if you invert from the second version to the root, you get that. And then you drop the two, drop the second highest note G. So you could go like this. Okay. So what I showed you, six, five. If we go one, seven, it's just an inversion. Okay, so let's do both. Right? Or da 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 da. I just did the inversion. Da 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 da. Um. Na, 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 na. Um. Da, 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 da. We could do six here, right? But we'll play like this. Da, 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 da. Right? Let's do that. Da, 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 da. What is this chord? Well, it's um. If we extend it, it's an F minor nine. Okay, F minor seventh, F minor nine. But we voice it like this: We've got the nine, the three, and the seven up top, like so. Very nice uh, dissonant chord. Da 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 to the four. Okay. Notice I kept the E flat on top when I went to the four. D flat. This is just a D flat. Uh, D flat major. Um, nine okay so I went from an F minor nine to a D flat major nine okay and that's all you're doing keeping the one and the five one and the five here's D flat major nine so the one and the five is in the bottom and we did F A flat E flat all right so da 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 right Da 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 da. You could walk down to that six and da 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 da. I think on the original, yeah, it's just a, a walk down. But instead, instead of just doing um, a E flat over G, we are doing like a um, more of a C major over G. Right? So um, it has a very nice open sound. Da 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 da. Here's the what down. Da da da. Right. Da da. Right. Da da. Right. 
that's just a walk down one seven six i been say you could go Woo. i been saved but that's a typical gospel movement you're you're going from this b flat sus chord here b flat e flat a flat and you're reducing that sus four to a three so it's a b flat sus seven chord okay and that when that e flat falls to the d it's creating a b flat dominant seven i'm just leaving out the f here but it's a b flat dominant seven to one to three and to seven so that sus four the e flat drops to a three and then you could da and you could do a, a walk in to that three da c d d so we're walking from a tone down from c into that d da 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 right so this is the chord da that's just a fall but you add the melody a little walk up do 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 right da 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 right so well let's do some context da 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 six to the four walk down da 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 I've been saved. I've been saved. Right? I've been saved. Of the goodness. Woo! I like the score of the goodness. It. This is a. Um, well, it's a D flat major seven over E flat. And then you could do the melody, which is goodness three to the two. Or you can just keep it. Goodness of God. Build. Right context again. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I've been saved on the goodness of God. Okay, chorus. Oh, I like that. Um, let's do that. Um, oh, that's a guy. So, I'm all alive. You have been faithful. I'm alive. You have been so, so. Da, da, da. Um, oh, I. <laughs> Okay, let's do the chorus again. I'm alive, you have been faithful. I'm alive, I've been so sad. Right, I couldn't even sing it properly, right? But um, I'm doing this movement here. I'm alive, yeah. So on the track, it's just sitting on the four, right? We could add some movement. We could go four, six, and do a four over six. And this is just drop two again, right? Um, so this is the four and second inversion, drop two. So get this nice open voicing, and we invert it. Okay, when I invert it, I mean the drop two is inverted. If you took the full chord without the drop two, it's the inversion. And when you drop the inversion, you get this. Drop two. Drop the second highest note, which is F. Boom. So you get this. Right? Very nice movement you could do. Still the four chord is just inverted. It's an inverted drop two, right? Right? And then on the one, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, here's the one chord, second inversion, drop two, drop the A flat, and then when I invert it, it becomes this. So, this is the drop two. If I invert this full chord, this is the inversion, right? Back to root, drop the two, so you get this. So, I'm doing a little rhythmic movement here. I'm alive, I've been A 
movement like that. So, sorry. All my life, yeah. All right, I, I'm doing some a little bit of movement in between the chords, right? Um, let me know if, in the comment if you like that idea, right? adding different rhythmic things but it's just using the foundation chords and just adding some movement so uh, when you see something like that right you're just using the notes in the chord right if you look at this four chord in the a flat scale it's the four and the six so I'm just we haven't changed the chord we've just inverted it really right you could pause and rewind this video if you have to and then I did so, so good. Right, and then I did. So good. Right? Maybe I'm doing a little bit too much, I don't know. I'm alive, I've been faithful. Again? <laughs> Boom. So good. So I did that move, movement. So one, three, six, five, right? Right? Um, I like this four over five. It's a four over five, but I voice it like this. It's just a four chord, four chord, four, four chord inverted. Um, and then I added the E flat on top. Adds a nice big chord, right? It's just a, a, a four chord substitute with the add two, which is E flat. And if you invert it, it becomes this. So inversions, right? Over the five. Where did I put that? Context. Here we go. Oh my life, you have been faithful. Oh my life, you have been so, so good. Every every breath there it is that I've been fate um, so instead of walking down to the six we're gonna do a seven three six progression so on the track I think it's just one seven six right you could do a three seven three six that's like a two five one right seven three six two five one in terms of um, F being the destination chord if F is the one then G is two C is five. So the chord that I did here is a G minor seventh, and then I did kind of. Um, I'm doing it's, it sounds like a C seven, um, but I'm doing the flat five. So here's C seven. I'm doing a flat five to walk into the five, right? That's that's the so. Maybe I should play it for context. So, um, every bed that I've been faithful, hey. right? Something like that. Right, so da, da. that's that's what I'm doing here. So this is the basic chord, but I'm voicing it like this, right? I'm just stacking the chord B flat over G, and I have the F down here, and then I go the C dominant. There's that augment. Oh, sorry, diminished fifth. There's the G to the F. Sorry, G to the G flat, and then I, right, I walk into that G, and then into the six. You could voice the six like this, or something like this. Context again, because even sometimes I lose my place. So, so good. And every bed that I. Here we go. Da, 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 da. I 
Right? So I'm doing an awful job singing, but yeah. Um Let's go to the chorus. Um, so you're good as a after me. You're good as a after me. got carried away there but basically i'm just not going too far from the original right three your goodness is running up right is running up. i'm doing like a one seven there and on the right hand i'm doing fc so it's like an f minor drop two to an e flat drop two right f minor drop the two it's like a nice note right and then I move to the E flat, which is just a drop to E flat major, drop the second highest note, G. So, running up, running up. You could, uh, yeah, mimic the the words, the rhythm of the words. I'm running after me with my. You could do a passing chord to that three from the four by doing this chord, E flat over D flat. That's just the four. And then to the six, we could go flat five, flat six to the six. Typical gospel movement. And this is just a B flat over, um, yeah, B flat over D. And then C over E into that um, F minor, the six. So flat five, flat six to the six. That's the bass walk up, right? Flat five, flat six to the six. B flat major, C major, F minor. But we play um, the sus two, sus two version of the right hand chord. So B flat, here's a sus two instead. Over to three. Same thing with that C. Instead of E G C D G C, which is a C sus two inverted. C sus two inverted into that F minor. Okay. Again. And five, four, three. Um, five, four, three. I would go uh, four over five, and then five over four, right into that three. Okay. Again, four over five, five over four to the three, and I'm voicing it like that. Right. So I was doing a little bit of, well, not too far from the original. Again, I'm just using the any of the notes as any of the notes in the scale as passing 
notes and then you create the chord on top of that right so um the basic is three, yeah, three to the four a five to the one or the six your goodness is four to the five to the six you could go five four three da, 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 da. flat five flat six to the six five four three da 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 two and then i said seven seven to the one right so my chords they don't change much right it's i'm doing a lot of sus two so that's the one over three right right that's over the four it's just a d flat major seven sorry d flat d d flat major nine but I'm adding that uh, G for uh, some dissonance, All right? All right, very nice. It's running up. That's just a five over seven, and then four over six, right? But voiced like this. Okay, it's really a, a, a four. Um, it's a four add two. Uh, but I'm voicing it like this. Then, right? I like to do this little movement here. Um, basically, it's on the right hand. I'm using my thumb here. Seven one. Seven, sorry, seven, two, um, seven, one. It's like an E flat chord, drop two, and then you move up to the A flat and the C. So you're moving up in this harmony. This harm, it's like a harmonic movement, right? Da, 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 da. Okay. And you can make up your own patterns. Right? What did I do there? Um, Let me try it again. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> right? Running after me. You're gonna you can pause and rewind the video if you have to. Yeah, but those are some of the ideas. I'm not sure if I would do more than what I did. Um, because it can get crazy, but I mean depending on the vibe of the um where you're at, whether you're playing by yourself, you're playing in a service, or you're playing with a black church, a white church, it all depends, right? If if these chords will fit. Um, but these are just some ideas. There's a ton of stuff that you could do. But let me know in the comments if this was helpful in terms of, um, you know, these ideas I shared. All right, peace out. I got a question. Are you tired of playing the same old chords? Do you want to badly learn how to play in all 12 keys so you can play confidently for your church? Then check out our Gospel Piano by Air Quick Start course. Learn the four simple steps it takes to learn any gospel song by air and implement simple chords you can use to sound like a pro. With over three hours of practical song examples and application, you'll see exactly how I approach learning songs and some common chords and progressions that you can steal today. To get access, click the link in this description and claim this limited time offer.